morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> Hope everyone is having a lovely day. All right, we are going to go for an Easter egg on the Northern Cap. Now, earlier in the week, we designed a ship. So those of you that watched the live stream got to check it out. Um, let's go ahead and resume our regular save. And let's see, I think it's going to be in the space hangar, even though it's like a rocket plane combo we designed. Um, yeah, let's see here. So what we designed was called the Doritos Locos Mark II. It looks like a flying Dorito chip. Pretty much. That's it. Comes in just a couple of stages. Um... Basically what I designed or was going for with the design was a long range fighter, scout fighter designed to fighter. It doesn't even need to be a fighter. I don't know why I'm stuck on fighter. It doesn't have missiles or guns or anything or rockets. Um, long range plane to scout out. Um, basically it'll go up into orbit, come back down where we need it to and detach from its boosters. And it won't take as long as flying across Kerbin. So that's really what I was trying to do with this particular design. So, um, everything, everything's pretty much done on it. We got landing gear. I've already tested uh, landing. It's really stable. Um, we have a ladder, fuel set up properly. We have ram, I have action groups for ram jets and the regular engine. Um, yeah, so we're ready to rock. Let's give this puppy a go. Oh, no, no, no. You know what I need? I need um, a GPS. Um, what are they under? Utility, maybe? <laughs> I forget what the, the map sat stuff is under. Ah, it's under aerodynamics? Oh, okay. That's cool. Alright, we're gonna need the, uh, the GPS on the actual plane here. Let's see. Can't tell if it's on right there or not. Let's go up a little bit. Let's see if we can get it on the itself hmm doesn't like any of these spots so far <laughs> oh, I don't like these spots it's unusual this thing can't weigh that much you know might be because we're in the, the plane hangar I wonder if I, let's go back out really quick and go to yeah, the VAB. Is the Doritos Locos here? The Mark One is, hmm. Let me try something really quick. Let me try, um, just dragging my, my files over to the VAB really quick. I'm sure that'll work just fine, so pro tip, if you ever need to move anything from the uh, space hangar to the VAB, just go into your save folder under your Steam if you have it all tied through in Steam. Um, so that'd be Steam, Steam Apps, Common, uh, Kerbal Space Program, and then um, go into your saves actually, and then whatever your name is for your saves, and then ships. Once you're into there, SPH for Space Plane Hangar. And there's the Doritos Locos Mark II. I'm gonna copy it, go into the VAB, and I'm gonna paste it there. All right. Um, now we should be able to load it. Yep, there it is. That wasn't too bad. Okay. Now, let's put the, uh, <laughs> the GPS on and see if it's going to act funky here as well. It might. I don't know why it's acting so weird. It should just stick right on and we're done, right? You know? It's like in it for some reason. Hmm. Very unusual. And it's red. 
<clears throat> oh, I think I got it on. I think I got it on. I don't see it, but it's on. Um, hmm. Well, let's uh, <laughs> save it and go back out and see if we have the option to look at our GPS. That's funny. Uh, I do! I have it, indeed. There you go. Right down there. We need anomalies on. Okay, so we are going to be heading north. That's all we're going to be doing today. We're going to try and locate this particular um, Easter egg up here in the cap. I have no idea what the Easter eggs are here, here so... This is going to be interesting. Uh, Bill Kerman will be our test pilot for today. For the Doritos Locos Mark II, the flying Dorito chip. Okay, I'm gonna back off a little bit. SAS on, full throttle on. And three, two, one. <laughs> so far probably put the gear up huh gear up <laughs> gear up indeed all right we are on our way now I did asparagus staging as well to make sure I, I just that's the only way to go in my opinion asparagus staging for everything everything all the time set up your fuel tanks properly your staging for your rockets so we're gonna lose four rockets here at the end of the first stage Two rockets left. That should be plenty to get us up on the ground. So. Plenty of left. Go. Go. Very good. Okay, I want to uh, start my turn a little early, but. Oh man. A little wonky controls that way but that works whatever all right now we should start we should start turning north and we are we are turning north very good going to the northern cap and in fuel we are in space ladies and germs now hang on let me cut this where are we at oh yeah that's good Maybe a little, little bit more. Let's see where we at now. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Um, northern cap. Okay. Going to get ready for our next burn, which will be a cross curbing. It, I'm really surprised. This this thing just looks awesome, man. Looks pro. We basically built a plane first one day. And then we said, okay, now let's build a rocket. And we just tacked it all on together. It was really cool. It was a fun live stream as well. Alright, come back up. You're dipping a little low there, bro. A little low, bro. A little low. Okay. All right, let me turn my music down so here, here. Okay. Where are we at? We're at, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a burn, yeah. Again, we're not trying to achieve orbit, we're trying to get up to the cap. So. Trying to re-enter at the cap. Okay, almost there. Get ready to cut and cut. All right, we are heading north. 
somewhere up there will be our Easter egg that we're looking for. Somewhere up there. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Not bad at all. And we're not getting too far out there either. But um, we had this rocket, it was going for an orbit around the sun. It was pretty, it's pretty powerful. Just kept going, burned it straight out. I know it's not efficient to do it that way. You should really achieve orbit and then use the gravity of Kerbin to slingshot you. But I was just seeing how powerful for testing purposes. It's a pretty decent rocket, man. Pretty decent rocket indeed. Um, all right. So I'm going to cut here and we'll be back as soon as we're getting ready to uh, to land. See you guys soon. Alright guys, we're back. I am trying to get lined up for re-entry here. I probably should have got lined up and then detached because I'm going to have to push this thing out of my way. It's actually working though. Uh, where's my current position? Okay. Not that far off, not that far, we got this. Alright, we're about to re-enter here guys, so this will be the f one of the first, well I've seen the re-entry on the live stream when we were running a test, but uh, it's very cool looking, so this will be the first time you guys get to see it on the stream. It's one of the new updates they did, so we are re-entering, here it comes. Very cool. That's awesome. And then, like, you punch through the atmosphere, it's like kaboom. It's really cool looking. Dude, I'm really surprised this thing isn't burning up, though, but I guess maybe the shape helps. I don't know. There's just, it's just fire all around, man. Oh, we didn't punch through. Huh. It still look cool. Very cool. They did great with that. Alright, we are powering up our engines. I'm going to adjust trim just a little bit on this movie. Alright, we um You're flying. Okay, now. All right, so we're a little bit off. We're still north enough, we're not west enough. So, fix that. Bad. Not bad considering. We definitely got north pretty quick. Um, future reference, I should probably head a little bit west, not just straight north next time. So maybe on a heading of 315 would have been the way to go. That's okay though. We're still going to have to do a little bit of flying. Well, actually, probably a decent amount of flying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're gonna we're gonna have to do some decent flying here. Um, what can we do? Do just this. We could relaunch. We could just fly. Um get there either way fine um i don't i don't think i did a quick save i think i did a quick save but that's okay um this will take a little while to actually get there so why don't we do this why don't i try um relaunching and doing a quick a 
adjustment to get a little bit closer and I'll come back as soon as we got that going. You guys don't have to sit through all that stuff again, okay? Um, otherwise, this is just going to be a long flight. I want to spend most of my time in fuel and, you know, looking for the egg, really, is what I want to do. So, we'll cut here, guys. I'll see you guys back here soon, as soon as we're uh, back in a better position to look for the, for the Easter egg. All right? See you guys soon. All right, guys, we're back. I'm back up in space. I'm going to be trying a retro burn here to try and adjust my trajectory a little bit here. I have enough time before we make re-entry here. Uh, right there is what I want. Help me out, SAS. We're trying to pull it a little bit left more. What I'm trying to do here. So, let's see if we can do this. Okay, I don't have mech jab or anything on. So this is just me flying. Okay. Make it go short. All right. Very good. Let's go back to pro grade. Got a little bit of a rotation going here now. Um, I want to burn maybe maybe 270. Get a nice westerly burn going. Stop that rotation. Stop that rotation, sir. Goodness. Still want it to be north though. So maybe maybe 315 would be the way to go to get a nice good burn. Nice good burn. Nice sweet burn, bro. Hmm. Bill Kerman. You legend you. He was the one that was on the ladder when we landed this puppy. Okay, let's see. Still gonna burn a little bit north. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe just a westerly. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's worth, a, it's worth a test here, though, that's for sure. I'm going to go ahead and try the full westerly burn. I'm going to... I'm running out of fuel, too, so this is going to be a short, short burn here, guys. Let's give it a go, right? All right, let's see what's going to do to my path. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right, we got a little bit closer. I think that'll work. I think that'll work just fine. We'll see. Let me go ahead and get this puppy lined up for re-entry. Like, we haven't even gone to the moon or nothing. We're probably going to have like 20 attempts or something going to the moon. With no mech jab on. But that's Kerbal, man. Kerbal's just fun like that. It'll be great. We have lots of fails. We're going to learn a lot. All right. Pull it back up, my man. Gamble it up. All right. Looking good. Very good. All right, this puppy is ready to make re-entry, I think. I think we're ready to go. We're going to be a lot more west now instead of central. Must be in these mountains or something. I don't know. I have no clue. No clue what this thing's about. What are you about, Easter egg? All right, we are approaching 88,000. I am going to go ahead and detach our booster this time early. Maybe we'll be kind of clear of that. Maybe I should put separate shots on there. Yeah, it's a little bit better when I'm pointing that way. I don't have to push them out of my way. <laughs> okay. Very good, Doritos Locos. You're my boy, Blue. All right. Oh yeah, a little bit closer. Still could have gone a little bit more west if I had uh, more juice, juice in the jets. But uh, hey, we learned. Learned our lesson. We were at the Kerbal Space Center. We basically went north, and yeah, it makes sense. We would have had to go west a little bit, but still learning how to do this space to plane, you know, switcheroo thing. 
be able to switch and do both is uh it's pretty cool but how to navigate that is interesting so with no assistance as well no mcturb mcturb's really good actually for test flying i guess oh damn oh my god get no no do, 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 do. oh my gosh that was close that was so close. That girder was like ready to hit me. All right, I have no assistance on this plane, no avionics, so I'm just gonna turn SAS off. We are re-entering. That Doritos Locos, buddy. Mmm. So good. Bill is freaking out. Nice, and we're in. Okay. All right, we still need to head west, but it's not as far, so that's cool. Saved a little bit of time. A little bit. I got some rams, so we could probably get up high and get up maybe 400, 600 in this thing. The fastest I've ever gone, I think, was 2600 in my SR Blackbird design I did. Man, that thing was awesome. But I lost it, sadly. I didn't back up my, uh, my ship files, so we'll have to do another one of those if we need to do some space plane travel or something again, just for fun. Because I'm sure we're going to have like a lot of space operations going on down the line, but then we're going to want to take a break and maybe just goof around and make some planes and stuff, you know? So, I'm slightly overheating. Let me just throttle this down a little bit. Okay. This is easily one of the most stable planes I've ever made. I am not touching anything. Look how gorgeous this thing flies. Perfectly balanced. As I demonstrated in the Doritos Locos Marco, uh, Mark II, I almost said Marcos, Marcos Polo, um, video with Bill Kerman, he landed on the ladder 200 meters up. I just set up the plane for a nice landing, um, like arc, you know, back tires down first, and boom, and got out on the ladder, did EBA, <laughs> that was it, that was it, that was GG, that's too funny, okay, alright, we are heading due west right now, so yeah, good, good, good. Going. I'm shutting off the middle one. We're going to go up a little bit to see if we get some speed. A bit higher. <laughs> we got a little bit to go, so. Wow, a plane that actually stays in the direction you point it. Very rare. Everything works out good on a good plane. Your plane is as good as your engineering is. But flying wing design, successful. Bill, you got this. You're a bro. You're a sir. Come on. Again, I do not know what these Easter eggs are going to look like. I, I've been trying not to like see anything on the forums or anything. It says Easter egg. Thank you for those that mark their, their posts on there. I don't want to know about it. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting more altitude. You can see our speed is increasing. Them ram intakes. Let's go. Let's get up there. get up to like 300 or something like this. Yeah. Okay. So my guess is up here in these mountain formations or something. Somewhere in there. Luckily we have tons of fuel. We can just continue to scout out and look around for stuff. That is, maybe that's it, I don't know. I don't think I'd be able to see it from this far out according to map side. There's the Mun. We're coming for you. <laughs> coming for you, sir. 
Well, that looks nice and flat over there. A nice place to land. This does not look nice and flat over here, so... This could be challenging when we actually need to land near the Easter egg. That's what I try and do with most of them, is land near it to get a cool screenshot or something, you know? We're actually closing in on it pretty good here. It's a lovely day on Kerbin. Snow's melted a little bit here. Mm, the pixels. So good. Alright, we are slightly heading south, I think. So we'll turn a little bit. Just trajectory to go slightly north instead. heading west and north, so I thought it was over there, it's actually over here, somewhere. anything, nothing yet, Maybe up on this plateau up here? Could be. Oh, well, we're getting much, much closer. Ooh. What could it be? Sometimes you see little specks on the horizon. I think that's just the game. I think that's just the game, but it gets you all, it's like, what's that? And then you like move the camera and it disappears. Damn. <laughs> Come on, Bill. You can do it, bro. You are a sir. slow, honestly. I mean, 300 meters per second is, is not like, super fast, so I mean, I don't know how small this thing is going to be. Oh, man. Oh, man. Quick save doesn't work here. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to fly around then. <laughs> We're actually right near it. Let me head north a little bit. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing, plane? How dare you do this? Oh god. Oh dear, more throttle. Let's get this thing. Somewhere over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess I should have kept that pump in power while we were turning. Hmm. I have a fine tooth control. Oh, yeah. Alright, to the north. So it's somewhere out here. Slightly east. Slightly east. This is slow. It's somewhere out here. There it is. Get a little bit lower here. Keep on my 
another engine real quick. Nice slow travel here, travel a bit to look around. With the one engine, it's good for that. Gonna be over here according to the map set. See, I don't know what I'm looking for. <clears throat> I've heard that there's things that you can see from from space. Um, the squad things are really small. But they're black, so they mean it would be pretty, pretty visible on this surface if that's what it is. Um, I certainly hope it's like nothing underneath the snow or ice. It'd be really hard to see. Hmm. I'll keep going a little bit more north. It might not have just loaded in yet, like the um, the KSP place, the, uh, the second KSP um, space center. I mean, was it KSC? KSC. Yeah, that one actually didn't load in until we were almost on top of it. So, same thing might be true for this Easter egg. We got to be on top of it or something. A speck on my monitor is like, what is that? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Where is this thing? Good. Right. You're like right on it almost. I actually need to go a little bit more west again to get really lined up good here. Just like a Okay. I don't see anything yet. You guys see anything? <laughs> over here maybe they hit it in this little formation it's possible it's a good spot to hide it too if you're flying low looking around I love that coffee okay we looking man we are like almost on top of it now. Wow, and I still don't see it at all. Whatever it is, they hit it very well this time. Wow. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Let's see. Mm. A little bit more. quite over the dot. This thing could be so small that it only shows up when we're right on top of it. But we are at 3,000 meters, so we'll be able to see it, I believe. Unless it's colored like the snow or under the snow or something like that. We should be good. East again. Maybe it's over here.
Hmm. I don't see anything there. Now I gotta head east to get to it. Actually, over here. We're lined up pretty good. Oh, wait. I think I see it. I think I see it. Yep, there is something flashing over here. We got it, whatever it is. It's up here. Gear down! We have found it. Whew! Wish you could zoom in a little bit more at the map, Sam. That'd be so great. But that's okay. Still a really, really awesome mod. So, gives you a general idea. Whatever this thing is, it looks cool. It looks like it's gray, or maybe it's a squad thing. I don't know. Very, very small. Spec. I don't know if we we're gonna find it. To be completely honest. <laughs> 800 meters. Oh no. Oh no. Pull up a little bit there. There we go. This thing almost like wants to, it just wants to land. It like doesn't want to land. Like it just wants to glide forever. Wish there was like some kind of air brake or something. Oh crap, is that a UFO? That's awesome! The UFO has landed! That's so cool looking. Two, we're gonna pass it, I think, yeah. Oh dear. That's so cool! I'll let the taxi back over to it. This is the Locos. Actually, I might be able to turn around. Before even coming in for a landing, let's see. It's gonna lose a lot of speed doing this, but... All right, that's okay. <laughs> that's what I get. That's what I get. Trying to turn when there's no power at all. <laughs> all This is going to be the widest turn ever. Let's just take back off really quick. Try another approach. Not bad. Not bad. We just lost our main engine. <laughs> No throttle going right now. None. None yet. It is just gliding in, dude. This plane is so beast.
case. There it is. All right, let's come to a stop here. Let's stop, stop. What are you doing? No, I said stop. Oh my God, we're jumping? We're jumping, guys. We're jumping. It's gonna be field launch number three. Number two, number two. Cheese and race. All right, let's try landing on top of this bit then. I was hitting the brakes. I was totally just mashing B down. All right, let's cut power here. Turn around. Lead off a lot of that speed. Oh dear God, probably not a good choice to get there, Raffle. No, we got enough speed to land. Good. Doing those no throttle turns. That's what happened to our main engine, sir. <laughs> oh man. Whew. I thought we were going to take off again. The thing is jumping and it just wants to fly all the time. All right. Finally, we've landed. <laughs> Bill, the first man to learn about extraterrestrial life. First Kerbal, EVA it. Let's go. Watch my plane roll away, as usual. Yep, it's rolling. Let go. Bye, plane. Hasta lasagna. It needs a parking brake. Hmm. How far away is it going? Oh, bye, locos. Hmm. May you stop somewhere. Bill will never shed a tear for that plane. Let's go. I want to see this UFO thing up close. So I'm wondering if we should design a rover that can detach from like a, a shuttle or a plane or something. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool to be able to just like, I don't know if you know if we should have it so it, it's like we land the plane and detach it. I think it should be like, we get over what we want to land on and just kind of like skim the surface and detach and keep driving and see if we can do that. That might be challenging. All right, it is over this hill somewhere. There it is. All right, make sure we're heading the right way. We're a little bit further than I thought. But nonetheless, we are going to find extraterrestrial life. And, oh, it stopped. Holy crap, it stopped over there. It's far away, but it stopped. Bill has to run through all the snow. Hopefully the little boots are insulated. <laughs> Otherwise this little Kerbal, uh, Kerbal toad will be frozen solid. Looks like a classic uh, UFO type disc. That's awesome. Let's get in there. Get in there. I wonder if it has a landing gear like the, um, the kind of like stick legs that just kind of shoot out the bottom in the classic UFOs lands. It's pretty cool. So I wonder if there's more actually UFOs on other planets too. It'd be kind of cool. And hopefully down the line they add even more Easter eggs. Just keep people looking for cool stuff on the planet. Reasons to go to these planets, not just to get there. I mean, yeah, that is the challenge is to get to these planets with like low gravity or high gravity or um you know, lots of moves to really, lots of moons to really challenge your, your, you know, your whole path to get to that, to get to that planet. But, um, I like the Easter eggs because it gives me a reason to go there and look around and stuff and kind of be an explorer. So, all right, here we are. Cool. Looks, looks baby smooth. I have my shadow on there. It's got a nice shine to it. 
Let's see what the uh, other side looks like. Eee. Oh, he fell down. Can I get my jets out? Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun on the moon, flying around and stuff with my little RCS thrusters. Oh, I actually have to put those away to run fast. Wow. Boop, 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 boop. Cool. No, no landing gear. Just a disc. <laughs> I don't know if I can get up this thing, can I? Oh, I can. Cool. Nice. All right, guys. Well, we found our Easter egg on the northern cap. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, this is Bill Kerman signing off. Rafflecopter Kerman signing off as well. See you guys next time for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And take care everybody. Damn Aliens. <laughs>